Okay, Ryan Ball back again. So the first cause of low testosterone is the pituitary gland. So what the pituitary gland does is it kind of sets, it kind of hangs off your brain like a punching bag. Um, and what it does is it tells basically your hypothalamus in your brain reads the amount of hormones that are in your body from different glands. And then it directs the pituitary gland to send messages via chemicals to these different parts of the body. So, so if you are low in a sex hormone, your hypothalamus releases gonadotropin releasing hormone that goes to your pituitary gland and your pituitary gland will produce either luteinizing hormone or uh, follicle stimulating hormone. Um, and, and it does this for the adrenals too. Um, you know, if your hypothalamus finds that there's low adrenal activity, a low, low level adrenal hormones, um, which could be sex hormones, uh, it could be DHEA, which turns into sex hormones, could be cortisol, could be aldosterone, or any of the other mineral corticoids. Um, and what we would do then is it would, it would turn on uh, corticotropin releasing hormone, and then that would make the pituitary turn on ACTH, and that would make the adrenals make more hormone. Uh, thyroid stimulating uh, hormone comes from the pituitary as well when it's signaled by the hypothalamus. Um, when we're talking about testosterone, luteinizing hormone is the one that's going to bring up testosterone. And so if we have low testosterone, let's say this is low, this is a little down arrow, and you have low testosterone, what I'm looking for is for the pituitary to be up. Um, if you have low testosterone, your pituitary gland should be alarmed by that and it should be trying to get you to produce more with a high amount. So if you have low pituitary, we know that the problem is in the pituitary. And there's a multitude of reasons that that can happen. So you can have traumatic brain injury or concussion. Um, like I said, it's hanging on there like a little uh, punching bag. So if it gets even, you know, if it, if it gets jarred, uh, that can compromise its ability to produce the hormones that it needs to produce for a normal function of the body. Um, you can have lesions there, you can have MS lesions. Somebody once asked me about tumors. Usually a tumor is going to make high amounts of uh, um, pituitary hormones, but, uh, but still a good thought. Um, so any different trauma to the brain, either autoimmune or you know traumatic brain injury, those can definitely cost the pituitary gland. Sometimes if somebody's been using a replacement for a while, that can get the pituitary gland in kind of a rut where it thinks that it shouldn't be signaling anymore. Um, and, and that's sometimes a lot easier to, uh, to, to signal the pituitary and say, hey, you need to get back on track. And, and, and usually it'll start building up and producing more testosterone after that. So if we see this worth trying uh, stimulating the pituitary gland, um, absolutely. So that is the first cause of low testosterone. And I am Ryan Ball from Prosper Health Clinics.